Cryonics, the art of freezing. The cryonic procedure begins somewhere between the time the heart stops beating and the patient is pronounced dead. The first step of the procedure is to cool the body by placing it in an ice bath. After the body is encased by ice, HLR or heart lung resuscitator is placed on the body. The compressing of the chest continues the circulation of blood and oxygen throughout the body and more importantly to the brain. Step two in the process calls for the blood to be replaced with a cryoprotective solution. What is a cryoprotectant, you might ask? It is simply a solution that keeps cells from fracturing and tearing during the freezing process. To replace the blood with the cryoprotectants, tubes must be connected to major arteries of the body. When this is completed, a low concentration of cryoprotectant is circulated through the body for two minutes to flush out the remaining blood in the system. The next part in the process requires the solution to be introduced into the body at a controlled rate until full concentration is reached. First, a 50% solution is circulated through the body over the course of two hours. After the two hours have passed, a 100% concentration solution is rapidly introduced into circulation and continuously circulated for another hour. Now that the body is prepared for freezing, it's time to further cool the body. The body is placed under computer-controlled fans, and nitrogen gas is put into the room. The nitrogen is circulated for approximately 3 hours, and the body is cooled to negative 124 degrees Celsius. Some final cooling is required before the process is finished. The body is placed in an aluminum holding container. This is where it will be held for long-term storage. The container is placed in an electronically monitored storage tank and is filled with liquid nitrogen. Over a course of two weeks, the body temperature slowly reaches its final destination at negative 196 degrees Celsius. And the final step is to wait for science to evolve with a cure.